Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to our SPI board review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question, give enough time to answer it before I answer it. Let's dive into this thing. Which angle is best for 2D imaging? A, zero degrees, B, 45 degrees, C, 80 degrees, or D, 90 degrees? The answer is D, 90 degrees. When you have a broken crystal in a phased array transducer, what dropout will you have? A, no image, B, no steering or focusing, C, horizontal line, or D, vertical line? The answer is B, no steering or focusing. 46 millimeters is closer to which of the following? A, two centimeters, B, four centimeters, C, four millimeters, or D, two millimeters. The answer is B, four centimeters. When you convert from millimeters to centimeters, move the decimal point one to the left. What does this image demonstrate? A, triplex imaging, B, duplex imaging, C, elastography imaging, or D, Tissue harmonics imaging. The answer is A, triplex imaging. Triplex imaging includes grayscale, spectrodoppler, and color doppler. What happened to make image B look like image A? A map, B inverted, C baseline, or D scale? The answer is A, map. You can see that the maps here are different. What is the specificity? A, 32 divided by 32 plus 33. B, 49 divided by 49 plus 45. C, 33 divided by 33 plus 32. Or is it D, 45 divided by 49 plus 45? The answer is B, 49 divided by 49 plus 45. What happened to make image A look like image B? A map, B inverted, C baseline, or D scale? The answer is A, map. You can see that the maps here are different. How do you fix this image? A, increase compression, B, decrease spectral gains, C, increase wall filter, or D, increase reject. The answer is B, decrease spectral gains to eliminate the spectral broadening. You can also decrease your spectral volume size or place the cursor in the middle of the vessel. When you're scanning, which will impact your body more that will cause an injury? A. Adducting arm away from the body. B. Abducting arm away from the body. C. Adducting arm toward the body. Or D. Abducting arm toward the body. The answer is B. Abducting arm away from the body. How do you fix color bleeding? A, increase scale, B, decrease pulse repetition frequency, C, decrease color gain, or D, increase wall filter. The answer is C, decrease color gain. What is the advantage of continuous wave Doppler? A, aliasing, B, transmit and receiving, C, duplex, or D, low sensitivity. The answer is B, transmit and receiving. What is the advantage of pulse wave Doppler? A, aliasing, B, transmit and receiving, C, true duplex, or D, high sensitivity. The answer is C, 
True Duplex. What eliminates edge shadowing? A. Coded excitation. B. Spatial compounding. C. Temporal compounding. Or D. Pulse inversion. The answer is B. Spatial compounding. Which is compromised when you add a focal zone? A. Lateral resolution. B. Spatial resolution. C. Temporal resolution. Or D. Axial resolution. The answer is C. Temporal resolution. What happened to make image B look like image A? A. Compression decreased. B. Gains decreased. C. Wall filter increased. Or D. Reject increased. So what happened to make image B look like image A? The answer is C. Wall filter increased because when you increase your wall filter, it creates a gap right near the baseline. What happened to make image A look like image B? A. The number of focal zones reduced. B. Gains decreased. C. Upper power increased. Or D. Transducer angle changed. So what happened to make image A look like image B? The answer is D. Transducer angle changed to eliminate this reverberation. How do you fix this image? A. Place cursor in middle of vessel. B. Reduce sample volume size. C. Align cursor parallel to vessel. Or D. Increase dynamic range. The answer is B. Reduce sample volume size to reduce or eliminate the spectral broadening. You can see that the sample volume here or the sample gate is too wide. So what you do is just narrow that down or decrease it to help eliminate spectral broadening. How do you fix this image? A. Increase dynamic range. B. Decrease reject. C. Increase amplification. Or D. Decrease overall gain. The answer is D. Decrease overall gain. What happened to make image A look like image B? A. Color gain decreased. B. Wall filter increased. C. PRF decreased. Or D. Nyquist limit decreased. The answer is A. Color gain decreased to eliminate this color speckled noise here. What happened to make image A look like image B? A. Compression increased. B. Gains increased. C. Wall filter decreased. Or D. Reject decreased. The answer is C. Wall filter decreased to fill in the area right near the baseline. How do you fix this image? A. Decrease compression. B. Increase reject. C. Decrease wall filter. Or D. Increase PRF. The answer is C. Decrease wall filter to fill in this gap near the baseline. What happened to make image A look like image B? A. Compression increased. B. Wall filter increased. C. Sweep speed decreased. Or D. PRF decreased. The answer is C. Sweep speed decreased. What happened to make image A look like image B? A. Color gain turned down too low. B. Wall filter increased too high. C. PRF decreased too low. Or is it D. Operating frequency too low? The answer is A. Color gain is turned down too low. What happened to make image A look like image B? A. Doppler angle is closer to 90 degrees. B. More red blood cells to increase the amplitude. C. Reject was increased to increase amplitude. Or is it D. Sweep speed increased to provide more waveforms? And the answer is B. 
there are more red blood cells to increase the amplitude. If any of you have any questions about your upcoming SPI boards, feel free to reach out to me at ultrasoundboardview at gmail.com or you can post a text or call at 435-922-1635. If you're looking for extra study material, go to Google, type in ultrasound board review, click enter, click on ultrasound board review, click on enter the pass zone, scroll down until you see SPI ultrasound physics mock exams, click that, scroll down and then click subscribe on my website. So to be clear, you're subscribing on my website, ultrasoundboardview.com. So you'll click that, and then you'll fill out all your information here, your email, payment, review, and subscribe. And then I will send you the link and the password to your mock exams. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one SPI tutoring, go back to that first page, scroll down, and then click SPI Physics Tutoring. Scroll down, and then click subscribe on my website. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardview.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.